So amidst all this iPad content I've been doing, I got a comment that kind of stuck out to me and it was something along the lines of, I'm wondering if I should buy the Apple Pencil or I'm deciding whether I should buy the Apple Pencil. And in response to that, I thought I'd make this video kind of on a specific topic as to why I think if you own an iPad, whether it's the 9.7 inch, the mini, the pro, literally anything that supports the Apple Pencil, why you should buy one. So let me just kind of get into my reasoning. But before we do that, I really appreciate it if you'd leave a like in this video, comment if you have any questions, suggestions, or and opinions as the algorithm loves that and it will help push my content to more people. So without further ado, let's get into why I think the Apple Pencil is a really viable and necessary accessory to buy with your iPad. So you have an iPad that supports Apple Pencil, whether it's the second gen with the Pro or the first gen with the Air 3 Mini and the 2018 iPad, and you're wondering, you know, what is the added benefit of these, you know, devices, these styluses? It's kind of funny because Steve Jobs at one point said, you know, who wants a stylus? You have to get them and put them away and you lose them, yuck. Nobody wants a style. But really, they are really great and they really do, I'm saying really too much, they really do enhance the iPad experience as of 2019 and I'm here to tell you why. So beyond the drawing and writing aspect, which we'll get to with the pencil, it's a fine point tool. It's kind of like a mouse in a way, except it's not, it's a stylus. And it's really useful in cases, you know, where you're doing a lot of web surfing, let's say on desktop sites, which are now part of iPadOS, you know, you have desktop sites by default. And you know, some of the things here, some of the buttons, some of the, you know, things you have to kind of interact with are kind of small. And it really does help to have this fine point tool. Now you can use your finger, but it just feels a little bit more clumsy. You can also highlight text much, much better. So let's go to a website here. I'll go to, I don't know, like a news site, let's just say, um, news, Google, um, let's just go to CBS News, you know, um, let's say we're reading this article and we want to highlight some text, so an alternative, and there you go, it's really easy, very, very easy, especially with this fine point tool here. You also have more control, I would say, in apps like Lightroom, you, know, you can just better and more finely interact with different controls here, especially these toggles with, you know, highlights and shadows and whatever, just as you're tweaking your image here. And yeah, I will say it really does enhance the user experience with an iPad, whether you have the non-pro, you know, like a mini 2018 Air 3 or an iPad Pro. And if you're buying an iPad with iPad OS to replace, you know, your laptop, I would say get the Apple Pencil as it will substitute what you're missing with a trackpad and a mouse. Next up, as we know, writing is a huge deal with iPad now, especially the Pro with the really low latency and the high refresh rate. And you really can't buy a better stylus. I mean, this is made for the iPad. This is a proprietary tool and it just works so well, especially with the Pro, it attaches to the side here. And you know, let's just kind of move over to the mini real quick because believe it or not, and sorry for the scraping noise, um, believe it or not, you can actually take decent notes and you know, write stuff down with the iPad mini. And yeah, even at this smaller size, which you know, I'll have a whole other video kind of covering whether or not the iPad mini would be big enough for you. It just really is nice to be able to, you know, jot a quick note down, or if you go into an app like, I don't know, Notability, and you wanna, you know, once again, mark up a document, let's just zoom in here. Um, you can absolutely do that, and it is just so much better with this fine point of input. Once again, you just feel more clumsy with your finger, and you know, just writing stuff down, again, is just super seamless. It has lower latency, especially with iPad OS, so, hi, my name is silly obviously this is like not how you would note take but even at 60 hertz it's just the best stylus experience you can get for ipad i mean once again this is made by apple it charges with your ipad it feels nice it looks nice and yeah writing is just a huge thing note taking too i'll actually switch back to my ipad pro here and i'll show you really quick uh the app that i plan on using in college to take you know notes in classes and i have gone over this before it's called good notes 5. you can find more in-depth coverage of this app in a separate video of mine but yeah it's just a really great experience i would not want any other on um, silas so i would not want any other i know this is really messy cursive but i mean it's just so smooth 
It's so buttery. The writing aspect of the pencil is what made me fall in love with this device initially. I mean, not only is it cool looking, you know, it has, you know, smaller bezels and it's super powerful. And even the, you know, iPad mini uh, five here in the iPad 2018 are both powerful devices in their own right. But dang, I mean, the super buttery feeling like the smoothness you get with the pencil, there's nothing quite like it. And if you're someone who once again likes taking notes, specifically handwritten notes, and you have a bunch of, you know, notebooks piled around, this is a perfect device. And if you buy an iPad, it wouldn't make sense if you didn't get the pencil. You know, what I'm saying is, don't buy another cheap stylus. They don't work. They will scratch your screen. They're cheap. They're never going to feel quite like the real deal. And last but not least, you can draw with the Apple Pencil. And I don't have like Procreate or a great app to, you know, demonstrate drawing capability, but I will say the Notes app does have a nice pencil, you know, built in. So, you know, whether you have a non-pro iPad or a pro iPad, you can definitely sketch something out. And if you are someone who I may have said it is remotely artsy, this is definitely a device you need to pick up because dang, I mean, like you could just doodle and sketch. And I was, you know, playing around with this the other day, you know, I'll draw something really simple, I guess, maybe like a sphere and shade it in. So you got like this and then you have pressure sensitivity, which is just super cool. And then, you know, you can get, you know, draw softer and just, you know, so I know this is a horrible example, but I mean, like you can definitely sketch something out with this. Let's try something on the mini here in the uh, portrait orientation. We can draw like a, oh boy, I'll show you my art skills. Um, we'll draw a, you know, a three dimensional cube here with a pencil and maybe, you know, black out one of the sides. And once again, it's just really great because of the pressure sensitivity. It feels like you're, you're actually, you know, drawing on paper, but without the, you know, without the roughness of it. And you can actually retain like a paper feel with, you know, a certain kind of screen protector. I don't know what it's called. I'll list the name of it over here somewhere in a title, but yeah, it's just a really great device. If you're someone who likes doodling, drawing, even making simple illustrations, say you were trying to, I don't know, explain something to somebody, say you're a construction worker or someone who just draws diagrams all the time. And I don't know what apps you would use, but I'll just demonstrate right here. So you wanted to draw a little like diagram of something. Say you were like designing, you know, like a room and you wanted to, you know, orient a bed a certain way. And then you had like certain dimensions. And then, you know, I don't know, you, you know, wanted to install new windows. I I'm making all this up. But what I'm saying is that you can, you know, make diagrams and highlight and, you know, do a bunch of different stuff. And it's just really, really smooth. And especially if you have the iPad Pro, once again, it just snaps right onto the iPad. And if you have a proper case for your Air 3 or your Mini, you can just slide it into a little loop or a little pouch for it. So basically, the gist of what I'm saying here is, is that, you know, one, Apple Pencil, whether it's the first gen or the second gen, is the best stylus you can buy for iPad. You know, duh, it's a really obvious thing. They're made by Apple for Apple products specifically. They have high tech, they have pressure sensitivity, they're very ergonomic, and they've gotten more convenient as improvements have been made, as you can see. And yeah, I will say my iPad experience in particular has been enhanced greatly once again for the better drawing capability without having to use your finger like a weirdo, being able to just write and jot down notes just in a very buttery, seamless way, and the ability to interact once again with the UI with a more fine point, especially with highlighting text and you know stuff like that. It's just a very enjoyable experience. The Apple Pencil is here to stay and I love it. And you know, you should definitely buy one. Once again, if you have an iPad, especially an iPad Pro. And that about wraps things up. I hope this video helped you out. I'd really appreciate it if you'd leave a like in this video, comment if you have any questions or suggestions and subscribe for more content like this. And as always, I'm Noah and I will catch you all in the next one.